friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. I am so happy you are here as we find out what's happening or like what messages you can have for the next seven days. Um, <coughs> so let me introduce you. Each pile, this is pile one, this is pile two, and this is pile three. And you found this at the perfect time, so it <laughs> doesn't matter. This is a timeless reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Inhale, close our eyes, relax our shoulders, empty our mind, and as we exhale and open our eyes, I want you to choose whatever pile draws you to it. All right, let's do it. Hello, my dear friends from Group One. I am so happy you are here. Let's see what kind of um, like what's gonna happen or messages we can have for you for this upcoming week. So you have home. So. <clears throat> These are two. This is my Mystic Sight Oracle, and this is Lavender Love Dreams by the Love and Tell the Love and Crystal. All right, so we have home is very important. So like maybe spending some time at home. Also, like I feel like almost like if you're looking for a home, um, I'm, I'm getting message of like um, like writing down what you want, maybe taking pictures. Like I almost feel like giving yourself that that like um vision board of a home that's what i'm seeing here for some of you i don't know recently there's a lot of like vision boards idea so <coughs> it might be this week um so taking care of what you need to at home so maybe it could be decluttering it could be um cleaning up it, even where whatever space you are that you call home that's that's where it is. It's sort of like it needs like a little gentle mind there. Also good for you to just kind of like um, spend some time there as well just to recharge. I'm noticing that as well. So I also have friendship, which is these two are the important energies like um, for this week. So friendship, feeling of love, closeness, worries, and anxieties about a friend. So what I'm seeing here is actually well, very much loyal friend here, but I'm also seeing this flower in your third eye. So maybe for some of you, um, friendship is on the mind, but it's also maybe you are connecting to some friend, maybe at a distance, um, psychically, I guess. Um, there's also a sense of if you're feeling a little lonely, if you're feeling like you need calling, bringing in that energy of friendship. Um, yeah. um, so I feel like... <clears throat> So what I would I'm gonna say for this for this particular week is maybe spending some time vision boarding about what it is that you want um, in your life right now. Like what would make your life like the best life ever. <laughs> and so like if friendship, if you're feeling lonely, friendship is something you want, then bring me in here. For some of you, maybe um considering adopting a doggy or like a fur baby, um that might be something to come through here. But that you're going to feel it more like you're going to just feel um, intuitively. That's right. It's like a calling that comes from within. I'm very, very beautiful. I love it. I also, for some of you, <laughs> sorry, I feel like there's like a lot of messages. Um, so probably a lot of people chose this one. Um, start thinking about um, uh, planting. <laughs> it's sort of like planting seeds in 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 the figuratively and in the literal sense. So thinking about planting your seeds, which how you're going to, you know, put your garden, um, even if it's an inside garden, doesn't matter. Um, and I also feel like, yeah, planting the seeds. Again, that really comes into, comes in terms with the um, vision board. It's sort of like that's going to help you also plant the seeds that you want. Um, so that's something quite lovely. I like this energy a lot. It's sort of like you're getting ready to move forward uh, with life a very optimistic energy here let's see what that in our town has we have the, the nine of swords beautiful we know that in the lovers card we have the ace of swords and then we have the seven of swords okay so all of these i can already see um they, we do have a lot of swords energy, so our, a lot of uh, energy is going to be on our thoughts this week, and that's okay. Um, and we still have the seven of wands, uh, but there's also like almost like a, a bit a sense of I, these two cards are very much together in terms of nine of, of swords, it's sort of like this worry here. Uh, again, it, it feels like, and that's maybe why you're being called home to rest to clear 
because one of the, the best things <laughs> to do, especially when we don't feel like we have a bit of control, when we're feeling anxiety, is actually to even just the, the um, action of cleaning your room, cleaning a, an area. It's sort of that, that action is sort of bringing new energy into your life, and it's also like giving you a sense of power as well. And I feel like this nine of swords is making me feel a little bit powerless. And so that's what I'm going to say, like, cleaning up. Um, and even here also as well, the vision boarding will be really good because that's still something that you're doing. It's an activity that, that draws your mind out of this worry, out of this anxiety, where you're just like, oh, my goodness. It feels like, you ha like you're, you're surrounded by swords, by worries, by thoughts, all these things. And I get it. Um, I've been lately, I've been in a little bit of the nine of swords energy recently, too. And I understand that a lot. <laughs> and if you know that, it usually means that one of my uh, firm instincts is, mm, is sick. Um, my beautiful buddy, uh, Boom, she's the princess. Um, she's getting old. And so there is a sense of like, I have a lot of anxiety over that. So I understand that's what I'm saying. Like, yes, I, I hear you. And so something that I like to do is, yeah, I do like to clear and, and clean up. It sort of gives me a sense of, because we need, we need a sense of control in many ways. I still like do prayers. I still write out all my, like, worries and everything. But it still comes back. And because we, especially when we care about somebody or, or, or like, a, a little fur buddy of ours. <laughs> Um, so we have the lovers here. And so the lovers here is almost like allowing support to come through. Maybe this is very important with friendships, but it could also be with, with like a significant other, allowing them to care for you, allowing for, for um, I almost feel like a, a nurturing energy coming through here, especially with the seahorses. I mean, there's been like seahorses energy around. So the sense of allowing nurturing, allowing others to nurture you coming through here, very beautiful. And so, so it could be a choice of, again, like, are we worried about, like, the Nine of Swords? Or are we going to accept the truth, the, the Ace of Swords? Um, and so that's something that I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing, like, with this, I think, <sighs> allowing yourself to feel the anxiety, too. Like, not beating yourself up about being anxious or about, like, oh, I have all these thoughts. Being aware of, like, where they're coming from and where this fear is coming from and actually facing it but not beating yourself up about it. It's sort of like hugging yourself. It's sort of like, yes. Um, but, again, also external support, significant other, friendship, friends, um, family, that if they're there to, to nurture and support you, accepting them, that would be, uh, like, something that would be really nice. Uh yeah, and I think with this, it does give you the sense of clarity. I think this is what I'm seeing. Like, there's a lot of confusion here, but here you have a sense of clarity coming through. Um, with the Seven of Wands, I have to say, it's sort of reminding me of this. Like, I feel like they're interconnected. So you're feeling anxious. You're feeling stressed out. You're feeling, like, worried about things. So you might, you might, um create the seven of wands which is sort of like you're you're battling you're trying to like um be on the defensive a little bit but that's coming from again from this place of fear i think uh I, for the seven of wands i would say really working on your solar plexus it's sort of like your inner confidence trusting trusting in yourself and and almost like yes being aware that you might be highly um, things might be highly sensitive to you in the sense of like there's a lot of anxiety already here. Um, but once that clarity comes, and I really do feel like there's a sense of clarity, such clarity coming through. Um, once you, I feel like, almost accept yourself, accept the, the anxiety, understand where it's coming from. Like really, like we would look at this, like where am I having this nine of swords energy? And once you have that clarity, it almost feels like, okay, you, you accept it and, and it's sort of like, you transform it. Um, so very nice energy here. Let's see what we have in terms of what's coming for you. We have surrender. Yeah, look at that. So let's see if we can see. Okay, what are you what are you aware of right now? Stop. Be where you are right now. Be in this present moment. Where are you? Touch the items around you. Take a deep breath and notice the sense. Look around and really notice your space. Whatever is happening in your life right now, can't, you cannot control circumstances or other people, but you can control yourself and your actions and reactions. The strongest position you can be in is 
and be in this complete surrender to what is. And so that is sort of accepting this nine of swords. Um, and it feels like to me this nourishment also with the lovers. So again, it's sort of like surrendering, um, especially like for this nourishment. I really do feel like there's nourishment coming through others um, and almost the nourishment also from and coming through in yourself as well. So allow, rest, surrender, especially with in terms of love. Um, okay, let's see what other things are coming here. So we have, oh, look at this. Your wish is granted. What you asked for is coming true. So think about what it is that you've been asking for and, and see. I almost feel like it's a sense of clarity. It might be a sense of connection with others. Um, maybe it's a, it's a home, like we said, or maybe it's friendship. Like there's a, a whole lot of possibilities. Or maybe it's this life that you've been asking for. It's finally like starting to take off for that. Um, and let's see what advice we have for you for this week. Okay. And this is the language of heart alchemy. Um, and this is the magic messages from the fairies. <laughs> and of course, this is the white sage tarot. Sorry, <laughs> I just, I'm learning to actually say what everything is. Okay. Um, and now I'm using the secret garden cards. Let's see what messages we have for you. Here we have generosity. So seeds of kindness. And again, look at that. It's the seeds. I, I keep like it is a, a, a sense of planting. This week is a sense of, of cultivating things for yourself. So you generously sow the seeds of kindness. So what kindness? And it's not just to unto others, but also unto yourself, really. Um, especially because we're having that nine of swords energy. It's sort of like you need to help yourself with that. Share. So busy, the busy bees should still take time for each other. The busy bee should still take time for each other. So allow yourself to share. And, and I feel like, again, this sense of nourishment coming from um, connecting to others rather than, and that's why the seven of wands, I'm going to say, is sort of like this seven of wands where you're in the defensive is really coming from this nine of swords. Um, so it comes from fear. And so it's sort of like, nope. <laughs> Instead of doing that, working with your um, solar plexus, because that's where your confidence is. And then when you feel that, you can have boundaries, because I'm not saying not to, but it's not a defensiveness. It's not like where you're feeling defensive, but rather you're, you're confident, so you allow others as well to come in. And then we have, do not tolerate less than you deserve. Yes, and that's, that's what I'm saying. The boundaries are there, but it's coming not from a place of fear, but rather from confidence. And it's a whole other, like you can see the, the difference of that. Um, so I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, please do consider subscribing. And if you haven't done so, please go check out the community tab. That's where we have um, the January subscriber person reading giveaway. Go look at the post and click on it. Go into the comments, right? Enter, and you'll be entered for the January drawing. And so also, um, go check out the community tab and vote on what content you want for this channel. Because we are family. Okay, thank you so much. I feel honored I was able to read your cards. And until I see you in the next one, bye bye, my dear friends. Hello, oh, my friends, and welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I do that. I'm just like, oh, I was in the moment. But, group, welcome, group, too. Very excited to have you here. So, this is your overall energy for this week. You chose the intuition card, so we know that intuition is playing a strong role here intuition solar plexus also very strong um we have with the orange there as well we have like um connecting to your second chakra which is creativity um passion all those things are coming through we also have this energy of engagement so relationship sexual movement i'm, I'm feeling that that might be true sexy time sexy energy um loneliness craving deep connections yeah so <laughs> Oh, that's a whole lot. So we have like really listening to your intuition and almost I almost feel like things engagement is coming engagement in yourself with, with others and also in terms of engagement with yourself and possibly this intuition as well. Some of you, if you aren't, I don't like maybe possibly like some sort of offer coming here here with this engagement. Um <clears throat> What I'm seeing here, though, is with this, it's sort of like losing, losing, using your intuition when you are 
um, unsure of something. Also, like if you are, for example, feeling lonely and if you're feeling like craving a deep connection, your intuition is going to kind of guide you. So to to connect to people that you've been wanting to. And so if maybe if it's a partner you've been like a, a romantic partner, it's sort of like allowing your intuition to guide you there because it, it feels like it's taking you to where you want to go. Um, so if you have some like random like desire, you're like, you know, I really all of a sudden I really want to go to the park or something like that. Allow it to go there. Um, you know, listen to that intuition. Don't push it away. Don't say like that's silly. No, like listening to intuition is so important, um, especially in this fulfillment with connection in terms of others. Um, yeah. And if like, a friend offers you to go somewhere like to to like have some sort of fun. I think like a lot of, I, I feel like some of you will say like, no, but really listening, like maybe like, I feel like a yes would be good there. Uh, even if you're feeling a little hermit nobody. <laughs> Let's see what we have there. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, lovely. Judgment, yes. And then three of cups. Yep, yeah, look at that. Friendship is so being, it's highlighted again here. Friendship seems to be highlighted. Um, yeah, in group one too. Maybe it's of the uh, connections. I would say like connections of all types and relationships are. I feel like there's um, a deep calling this week for. So that would be a collective message. And so friendships, yep, coming through. I almost feel like we have been having this nine of pentacles, which is good. There's abundance. Maybe for some of you, this engagement is actually like a proposal of some kind where it's like a job offer. Um, or it could also be with this page of pentacles. It's also kind of making me feel like learning um, more about finances for some of you. Um, business might be some, something through here. Oh, I really like this. Let's see. Ugh, I feel like... Yeah, like there's like I feel like there's learning. I almost feel like this is almost like a little um clover for leaf clover. Well, it's a three leaf clover. So good luck with possibly with learning, um, getting <clears throat> with younger people as well. Sort of like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I also feel like maybe somebody, some some of you are gonna like become friends with somebody who's a bit younger or has a younger um energy, um. But I, I I do feel like this week is about learning. And it really is. It's about learning. It's about friendship. And then Pentacles, it's about also accepting all the all the abundance that's coming your way. And I feel like there's a sense of like, yes, you can feel be independent but still allow like this joyous of of in being independent but still allow others. And it's it's also more like a sense here. The judgment is coming through here as almost like it's it's next level and that engagement might be that you're going to the next level whether it's next level in friendship or you're really like deep connecting whether it's in terms of romance um where it's like okay next level you know like um exchange keys or actual engagement um yeah sort of like next level the judgment it feels like the next level for yourself and the next level here is being a student which is really interesting it's sort of like for me as well where you're learning things looking at things like okay like it, if you're if you're you know thinking about business it's sort of like what can I learn like what what like new approaches can I learn to to this business or, or whatever it is or you know like whatever job you do learning is a part of it all and some of you might be learning coming through with friends um <clears throat> okay let's see what love energy is coming through we have a group um, and we have practice, which we're going to do, but again, so for in terms of love, where can love, where can you love higher? A deep is a huge open heart. It is the highest form of love, the energy of the universal love, connection, and an experience of incredible creativity through self-expression. A deep is a dedication to appreciate, appreciating, honoring, and nurturing the beauty and uniqueness of all beings. Feed a higher version of your self-love and focus with a sense of maturity and purpose towards what you have to give. Okay, wow. So, like, it's a sense of opening your heart up. Wow. And I love this because, look, it has, again, it's sort of like the solar plexus here, and it's also the second chakra that's coming through. Um, It's the openness. Uh, it's almost like a sense of opening yourself up again, not only to, to like, others which is here as well but it's also opening yourself up to this creativity and and this energy 
of um I feel like abundance, well-being, confidence. It's almost like taking, but it is taking yourself to the next level. Uh, oh, very, very lovely energy. And we also have holidays. So we have the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or, or holiday getaway. So maybe for some of you being on a holiday, for others of you, I feel like this retreat might be <clears throat> going um through that, that, that three of cups, like going out with friends, I really do feel like you're going to be invited somewhere. And it's, I feel like, yeah, like it's almost like stepping out of your comfort zone, stepping out of your everyday life and taking that movement, like to this holiday, somewhere where you haven't been, some unknown. Um, there'll be some answers, I guess, for what you've been wanting. So that is really cool. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's see what, um, oh, again, I, I'm like going to say, so this is my mystic Light Oracle. This is the Lavender Love Dreams by the Loving Crystals, um, the Loving Tarot. We have the Language of Heart Alchemy. We have the Magical Messages from the Fairies, and this is the White Sage Tarot. And now I'm going to use the Secret Garden um, to give you some more advice um, for the upcoming self-care. So tend to your garden. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so taking care of yourself, yes? Yeah? Uh, with that, and that's also this nine of, of pentacles there as well. And then the three of cups, because I really do feel like a part of you needs that interaction with others here. Adapt. You will get yourself where you want. Adapt and you will get yourself to where you want to be. So learning to adapt. I almost feel like, and that's the intuition, because I, I feel like, we, like if somebody offers you to go out, you're like, mm, I don't know sure because you're you're still in this like I, I feel like almost like mm, but I feel like the spirit saying like nope adapt we need to go past it's like out of your comfort zone is what it is because we have an opportunity there's no use looking for luck it arrives at unexpected times yes and the opportunity will be when you least expect it and and it's usually I think in terms of some sort of like offer of some kind where you're like somebody asks you like let's go out and you're like I don't know like yep go with it also if your intuition is guiding you like I said like going to the park go to the park um intuition is key here because it, it wants you to like opportunities that you've been wanting for like you've been craving for it sort of like that's so that's where it's leading you so again really trusting that your intuition does speak super important so I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing. Please go check out the community tab. And if you're interested in a free personal reading, there is the January personal reading um, subscriber giveaway. And so you can go there and click on that post and just write, enter in the comments and you'll be entered for the giveaway. Also, if you are, if you want to vote for what the content that we, you know, we do here that I create for you, um, that's also in the community tab. Thank you so much for being here. I am so honored that I was able to read your cards. And until I see you in the next one, bye-bye, my dear friends. from group three so you chose this loud i like it that means maybe you might be wanting to listen to music um you might be sort of like there might be um a message that's really loud i feel like listening to, like music will be an important <clears throat> playing an important role this week so be on the lookout for any kind of music um when you hear there might be something in the lyrics uh, i guess yeah that's calling it so this is also and we have cupcake tea liking yourself for who you are making undesirable choices for approval so <clears throat> i almost feel like <laughs> so <laughs> oh if you're questioning yourself if you're like making if you're making undesirable choices like if you if you're trying to like do things for approval there will definitely be allowed like no be yourself kind of um energy kind of feeding through here i also feel like there's a sense of kind of connecting to others that are uh, similar or have similar um, goals to you. I feel like that's something there. There's a sense of like pleasure here um, and enjoyment. And it's also like I said, this is sort of like loud. Maybe for some of you going to a concert might be coming through here. Um, but spending time with others, I have to say that collective and like the collective message this week is sort of to spend time with others, not to be hibernating, but rather to go out and about. <laughs> and so that's what I'm going to say there. Um, but yeah, music, very important. 
cupcakes. Also, like you know, being honest with yourself, being truthful with yourself, truthful with yourself and others.、Uh, that's it's it's hard sometimes. I have a new thing where I'm like gonna say the truth all the time. Like I know sometimes、um, doesn't mean that we have to be harsh with our truths. Um, but it's still it's better to to be full, straightforward and honest than it is to try to、um, sugarcoat things because that's sort of like it's not good for you and it's not good for the other person. All right, so here we have yep, and the Queen of Swords right there tells us that yes, no sugarcoating, my friends. Like saying things, I'm not saying like be harsh about it, but truthfulness is very important with this Queen of Swords. So that's coming through. Look at the fun joy coming through. We have the Page of Cups makes a lot of sense, and we have the Empress. Look at these beautiful! Oh my goodness, you have such lovely, lovely,、um, like energy here. Okay, so I do want to say that there is here like a joy that comes from this one, like film fulfillment comes from both of these energies, and I feel like you have both of them in you, which I love because the Queen of Swords、um, and the Page of Cups, and like, and this is where I think makes you have like. This Empress energy. There is a lot of、um, divine feminine energy here, and so what I'm almost seeing here is sort of like really paying attention to that. This、um, you, could, you might be surrounded. Maybe like friends are coming over.、Uh, a, a gentle friend that's possibly a Pisces water sign here,、uh, possibly younger. It might be coming through here. We might have an older friend, an older, more.、Um, Opinionated friends coming through, but for me this feels more like your energy,、um, and sort of like coming to this empress energy, which is beautiful. And so this is like yes, the queen of swords, very straightforward,、um, blunt, honest,、um, takes action. You know, it's it's sort of like、uh, cutting away at things that don't serve her. Very like that's that's beautiful. But then we also have this page of cups. I mean, this is still to me. Very much so your energy. This is why I really like it, and this is what the happiness, the joy, finding this balance between these two. And the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is all about expressing our emotions.、Um, it, there's a gentleness, a childlike energy here as well. So we see this this contrast, but it's perfect for finding like it's it's not. It would seem that it's opposite opposites, but rather if you can kind of like allow both of these. You will have this happiness, this joy,、um, and I feel like this sounds almost like you are becoming the empress when you combine these two. I'm really, really fascinated. I almost feel like this might be a shell, or oh no, it's the moon. Okay, see, that's what I was like. Your empress, I was looking at the moon, and so that I, I look at that. I love this because the empress comes here with the moon, and then we still have the sun. So yeah,、uh, for me, the sun is always more of a masculine energy. The moon is more of a feminine energy. And so we do have this masculine and feminine, and we even here have the loud, but with but also with like what it would seem like a soft energy. So I think it's almost like the the key this week is finding this balance between those、um, masculine and feminine.、Um, and it's also, but really even even in like let's say the sun, the joy, and everything. <clears throat> also connecting, I feel like to like the hidden aspects, the the. Like your emotions is kind of important here, like emotions is, and so I feel like the Queen of Swords, even though it's very feminine, there's still like a masculine energy for her as well, because there's a, a sense of very a strength, more of a yang energy,、um, whereas the Page of Cups is a yang energy, and I know it's like sort of making sense, but it's sort of that's what I'm seeing here. It's sort of like this is is finding that balance. This week is super important. So where there's Loud, and then there's this like cupcake. So there's like this.、Uh, every, every like every situation this week, try to find that balance of of being both like the Queen of Swords, but also allowing the gentleness of the Page of Cups to come through as well. Very awesome. I love this. And look, the joy, the happiness. You're gonna be so fulfilled. You're gonna you're gonna see. Oh, I think things are are working out because you have this this. Like balance there. You have the love energy. <laughs> love energy balance. Okay, I love that. Okay, are you balanced? Balance starts with being with yourself, so you can pay attention to where your needs really are. The emotional thunderstorms. 
<clears throat> the emotional thunderstorms and droughts usually come about because we have been raised to pay attention to our because we have been raised to our needs and desires, but rather to okay, because we have not been raised to pay attention to our needs or our desires, but rather to everyone else's. This throws us out of balance. Find the middle point between the other's needs or what other needs from you and what you need from choose yourself. And here you go. Like making just make undes making undesirable choices for approval. Yes, that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to find this happy medium within yourself with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Cups. This gives you the sense of balance. I love this. And so that's an important thing coming through here. And look, if the sun is here, and again, this is the rain, but it's almost like the sun and it's like the moon as well. Very, very beautiful. Okay, let's see what other things are coming through. So here, new home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. So moving, some sort of like new home. I feel like whether it's an actual physical new home, um, that might be something, but I also feel like it's sort of like the the new attitude, new new perspective, new way of being you. I feel like that's what I'm seeing here. Oh, I really like this. Oof, let's see what um what advice we can have aside from all these wonderful advice. We have persevere, leave no stone unturned. So move forward and and don't give up. <laughs> You will find balance. I almost feel like you want to, it's much easier for you to just kind of give up and, and, and like do what other people want you to do. But no, this is really about you. And I feel like the Page of Cups is very honest with, with herself. Like Page of Cups. And so this actually, I feel like that is a common ground between both of them. The Queen of Swords is very honest with themselves. And the Page of Cups is also very honest with themselves. And their emotions, right? Thoughts, emotions, balance, oh, so beautiful. I really like, that is, uh, I would say, a killer combination if I've ever seen it. And you wouldn't think so, but it really does sound really good. Like, persevere, so move forward, but among play, among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to un un to uncover. And so this, the playful energy comes from this. So the persevere, queen, queen of swords, the play comes from this um, page of cups, yes? Oh, I like it. Okay, let's see one more, one more. Give us one more. Courage. When picking roses, don't fear the thorns. Yeah? So sometimes you're going to, people may not necessarily agree with you, especially when you say no to people. <laughs> it's a lot of truth. It's like people don't like to be told no. Like they have, uh, um, but if you're putting yourself first and your needs and your desires, that's important. That takes courage, my friends. It's okay. Sometimes you're going to be, I would say sometimes you're going to be the villain in somebody else's story. It's true. It's just, it, it, it's just sort of what happens. <laughs> it can't always be the heroes. We, sometimes you're going to be the villain in people's stories. And that's okay. We have joy. So joy. Make time for the little things today. Yeah. Again, play. Joyful. Joy. Come and enjoy everything that you have. What's a beautiful reading. I really like this group. So yeah, I'm excited for you. <clears throat> Really like oof, I love that I like that combination a lot. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. If you did like this reading, please do give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing. If you haven't done so, please go check out the community tab where you can enter for the free personal, the January free personal reading giveaway for subscribers. Um, there's a post there. Just click on that post and comment in the comments to start enter and you'll be entered for the giveaway. Also, please, please consider voting um, so you get to choose the content for whatever, like, whatever you want this week. I, I you know, like, I want to give you what you want. So do consider voting. We have love, a love reading, voting, and then we also have fun general reading. So please check those out. Thank you so much. I am so excited that you were here. And thank you for letting me read your cards. Until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends.